to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days Today Alpha 18. So as you guys can see, this has started to dry over here. Uh, now, I made a little bit of a mistake. I started the steel upgrades on this side, and I should have started on this side. Reason being, the zombies come from this side, so they fall here and break here. Um, they don't always make it all the way over to this side, so there was no real reason to go all the way to there. I should actually take this out. There's less weight that it should hold. And I'm not sure if I should or not. Hmm. So now the, the thing is a little bit too long, so I should actually work out how uh, long this is, because I know it can hold 24 blocks. So that is, let's quickly test that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's from that side. So this side should actually almost do the same. No, is it 24? Is it 15? I might have gotten that mixed up. But that means, just to make sure that actually holds, um, I'm going to have to place another block right here next to this one to help hold. And then same on that side. So over here, it might just be a mistake because the zombies can then land on that and fall back down. But um, this way we know that not only is that block carrying it, but this block as well. Remember, technically this block on the left is also carrying the rest, but not as much. But now if I do this, that block's carrying one, two, three. You can actually keep on counting that way just for like the first one. So they're sharing the load. Just do the same on this side. It's actually a little bit of a waste of resources for me right now, but... I mean, if it's going to help carry this thing, why not? And then, unfortunately, we are out of steel completely. We only have four left. Now, what I did was I did a little bit of inventory sortment, uh, sorting. So my night wasn't as productive as I thought. Um, as you guys can see over here, there's a stone sliced in half. Because I actually went to go with my auger from the top to the bottom and got as much stone as possible. Usually, I just take out the bottom and then whatever stays over, I grab. That's just a waste of stone. We need stone. So this is a nice deposit of stone for us right here. We're going to take down both of those. I think I got like 12k stone just from that. Uh, which is awesome, by the way. Um, but yeah. What, uh, the other thing that I did is, as you guys can see, my base over here is a little bit sorted now. So I put my chemistry stations. Don't know why I forgot the name for it. Chemistry stations on the outside like this. Then the tables over here, the workbenches. Then the metal workbench and the forges in the middle of here. Now, I had all three forges working on stone and thought, you know what, why? We need steel and we need iron bars. So this one is now focusing on iron and clay. Um, I, it was busy with cement, that's why there's still cement there. And these ones are solely focusing on cement. And with the two cement mixers or concrete mixers over here now, that's going to come in handy. Let's do this, should probably put more in over there. I should make sure that my concrete mixers are working 24-7. So these are already crafting. Ooh, almost done. Nice. Um, let's just take that in half. I'm gonna max that out. That shift click for those of you new to the game. And then, or just click on the right side of here for max, or shift click on the name itself. So that's crafting out a nice amount of concrete mix right there. We should be able, with this amount, before day 35 night, be able to upgrade our walls. I hope. Now the problem is, of course, the blade traps. Not all the blade traps are in. But, remember, all the bottom day traps are. So for now, that's all that really matters. I just want to see if this place holds. Um, <laughs> it's going to suck if I don't connect the, uh, the top ones and all of a sudden we needed those. But for now, we need to focus on getting this steeled up. As soon as all of this is steel, I can then focus on making the rest of the day traps. After this episode, I'm also going to have to go and connect all these blades. I haven't done it yet, guys. I, <laughs> I've been so busy actually preparing for the order and everything that I just haven't I haven't done it yet. Okay, now, as you guys know, over here, uh, ramps don't usually work with zombies for some reason. They don't like ramps. Stairs work, and then also, for some reason, uh, the wedge tips, or not wedge tips, the wedges work as well. But the zombies have to jump such an awkward way. I don't want them to pile up and then starting the blocks. So I'll rather go for the stairs and know I'm set. But this time, I'm not going to go for the design I had last time. Um, the uh, for those of you who know my design last time, I had a pyramid staircase. That was just way too much work, way too much to maintain. So what I'm going to do this episode, whoops, started a little bit too in front. And I'm getting tons of lag for us all of a sudden. But I'm going to do this just to make sure it doesn't cave in. And then we're just going to have this one walkway. One, two, three, four, five, six wide. 
all the way down to over here. Now the sides of the walkway might just be stairs, so the zombies are more inclined to run up the stairs. At least I hope they don't destroy the stairs, that's going to be the worst thing. But otherwise, other than that, we should be able to get this done before the horde. So staircase, uh, and also half of it should probably be upside down ramps. Because that's going to go for the bottom, that's going to help support it. So ramps, and we have to rotate those. Advanced, let's just check this out. Ah, oh, damn, I missed it. <laughs> that was the first rotation. Am I missing it again? I need to keep it closer to my eyes. No, no, no. No. I don't want to... I already skipped it twice. That's why it's so easy. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so what it's going to look like is this. And then the stairs are going to hang off of that. But the stairs need to be simple rotation. No, 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 not shape. Simple. There's simple. Uh, no. Simple. No, why did it... Ah, it changed. It changed. It's not stairs anymore. It shows it's stairs, but it's not. Okay, so, Jean, keep this simple. I want to make sure that the two stacks stay different items, then it's just easier to switch than having to go uh, shape change, shape change the whole time. For example, this, we just go now like this. Instead of having to go for this stack and making it the two shapes. I could swear I hear footsteps, like a ward running closer. I hope it's just my imagination. Okay, so, let's just do this. Uh, last one like this. And then I need to place one more. As soon as this is on the floor, it'll hold its own weight. But until then, I just wanna, don't want a chance at caving in. That's going to suck, especially since we are low on concrete mix. We can't afford to just be wasting all our concrete mix. Okay, so now we can pick these up. These should be able to be picked up. Thank you. Um, I think with these, we should start from the bottom. So we're going to do this. The problem is, though, we don't have a ton of concrete mix. We should quickly go put some more in the concrete mixes. I mean, there is a ton cooking up, so we can technically quick, so, I mean, quickly make some more stairs and stuff. I just want to make sure this is set up so that we don't have to worry during the horde. That's going to be like so, and two stairs. See, I want to make sure this six-wide staircase is done, and then we can focus on the rest of the base. We still need to upgrade the walls over here, but I don't want to take a chance of doing that. And then the staircase, the entrance to the defense, is not done yet. So we're going to grab all of that, and we're quickly going to make... Let's make 20. We're still going to have to make the sides as well, so that's why I'm doing that. So we can quickly stop this and make it again. Same with this one. 20. I know 40 might be too much, but we might we could always just use it for the different different part of the base. Okay, so we grab that. And this. Come on, come on. Thank you. Okay, these four should be enough to at least do the one side. And then I can actually technically start upgrading the walls already. All of this is reinforced concrete except the two new blocks that I placed. So I should quickly focus on that before it gets too late. Let's just copy shape quickly. Well, not copy I wish you could copy shape. But you need to go into shape and do it again. I don't know if there is another way of doing it, but so far this is the only way I've seen. Go like so. And ramps are done. This side. Need to put a ramp in. Okay, so shape and ramp. No, 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 not arch. Well, arch should actually work better than the ramp. Because a ramp technically stands out, but the arch, there's an arch in, so the zombies want to hit the block, but they hit right through the middle. Okay, so while those blocks are cooking up, we do have our nail gun, we do have concrete mix over here. We just quickly do that so we don't forget, and then quickly upgrade this over here as well. We do still have rebar frames, I think. Yeah, 106. But we first need to get this bottom layer done before we can do the top layer. Because of the height of this building and the fact that I still need to um, connect the blade traps, I'm going to have to do that with that block on each side. Just so I can jump up, connect to that rail relay over there, jump down and connect to the blade. If I stand right next to the base, it should connect. I just hope the... Uh, sometimes the cable goes right to the wall, other times it goes over, like it follows the path of the wall. If it does that, then it's going to say that I'm too far away from the relay. So let's just hope it doesn't do that. Otherwise, I'm going to kick myself for upgrading this already without connecting all the blade traps first. Okay, so we have 22 blocks worth more left. So I'm just going to go as far as I can, and then... There is a little bit of concrete mix still uh, crafting, although it's just a little bit because we use the rest for the stairs. So by the time we finish the concrete mix over here, those should be done. Okay, that is done. We finished on the corner over there. Whoa, a little bit of stats all of a sudden. 
I hope that doesn't mean that, like there's hordes spawning in. Remember, at the moment we have the problem where the, the earth isn't, or the ground isn't spawning in all the way. I don't know how far away a wandering horde spawns, but if they land in that, they fall down. So it just creates a ton of errors. Just check this. At least there's no error. Well, uh, what? Go to state on synchronized layer. That's the only thing it shows that's a little bit of a problem. But other than that, it doesn't show that there's any other errors. So for now, it looks peachy, but uh, you never know. Okay, so we're going to do this. Do that again. And once again, we have to make the two shapes. And we need to make sure we copy the rotation of the shapes on the other side. So that one's staircase, and this one is ramp. This should be enough to get the main up going. And then I don't know if we should go for the pyramid kind of thing, because they should technically run around. Some of them just stand here and wail on this block. So if I can make a staircase like this, so they just are tempted to uh, jump up more, why not? That's just going to save me grief later on. Now, the thing is also, guys, remember... Oh, copy rotation. Um... We need to take in mind that we also need to upgrade the staircase over here. Remember, this is only cement. So if a crop or something explodes, especially the, uh, the demolishers, if they explode over here, they're going to take this with them. But if it's reinforced concrete, like upgraded all the way, that, is, uh, that chance of that happening is actually halved. Because if I'm not mistaken, the concrete's 2.5 and the reinforced 5k. So it's literally halved. And unfortunately, we have to use the concrete mix we have at the moment first for the base. We need to make sure that the whole place is done. Now, I just hope that the zombies don't think the base is too thin and they start attacking the walls first. Sometimes they do that. I need to make sure that before the horde starts, ooh, I still need to do electric fences and stuff, but I think I'll do that the next horde. I hope it's not too late by then. I need to have electric fences going over here, so if the zombies get run over here, they get shocked and they slow down. So at the moment, they're going to want to run all the way over. So I'm actually really, I'm actually stressing for this order. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I just hope this defense works. I might just have to put a spike or two on here, but sometimes when you put spikes on this runway, they are more tempted to go for the walls. Then again, this wall is one thick. And then over here, between the blades, it's three thick. Let's just hope that's enough to deter the zombies. I don't think it's going to be, but I pray it's going to be. Okay, so that is done cooking. Whoa, lag. Should probably cook up some more concrete mix over here. And this is... Ooh, steel. Almost forgot what I was doing over here. Okay, so that's 13 blocks. Yeah, 10 per. That's 13 blocks worth. I just need one more. And that's 14 because I already have four over there. So now I'll be able to upgrade 14 blocks worth of steel. That's awesome. Now let's see. I'm gonna quickly going to finish this run away. And I think we can do a little bit of exploring then as well. Because this town is not done yet. We're actually very close to being done, but not done yet. There's a ton of boulders in this area as well that I can get for the stone. But as I, if I'm not mistaken, we already did this over here. There's still stuff over there we need to do. And then we haven't done this road over here and then out to this side. I don't know what is on that side. It might just be very close to Wasteland. And if it is, I might just do exploring after the Horde. Because we need a Katen Trader. If it's still in the game. Because I don't know if you guys know the Katen Traders, but they sell a ton of resources like in bulk. So it's worth it, but it's in the most dangerous biome in the game. So it's a give and take. Oh crap, I don't have enough sand. Okay, so let's just do this. No. Yeah, there's more... St no, 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 no. It's half stone. Damn, that's a shame. Let's do this. And this. I I'm gonna... It's gonna be uneven because it's two times the stone. I think. Did I just work that out wrong? Why is it... Oh, there's a stack of stone there. I didn't see the stone. And there's still a ton of... What? I didn't see that stack of sand and stone. That's why I thought, oh damn, that's not going to work. But I'm glad there was. Nice. So now we can just dump the resources over here. Oh, there's no stone or sand in there. Uh, this we can dump. This we can dump. There's enough sand for now. I wanted to make a little bit more um, cement. but or on the, on the lips, I wanted to make more sand with the stone. But now see, there's actually a massive amount of stone left. So there's no point. Okay, now over here, before we go exploring a little bit... Let's just make sure we get a little bit of a walkway going right here. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I wanted to make a little bit of a platform and then the stairs, but I forgot. But then again, now this way. Remember, if this slows them down. So if there's too much of a platform over here, they're going to speed up again. So this way, at least, if they miss it over here, they're going to do this and they're going to fall down. So some might just fall down over there and some not. But that's why I want to have this as wide as possible. 
Then they converge over here and then they, they group up. Because remember, if 10 zombies run up the stairs, there's only like three zombies that's able to go over here. So if I throw a grenade, a contact, a contact grenade over here, it's going to do a ton of damage to the zombies. Only problem is, these blocks are not fully upgraded yet. So they're going to take a little bit of damage from the explosions. Okay, so let's just see how I do this. I need to make sure... No, it has to be simple rotation. No, no, simple... Oh, come on. I did it again. Shape. I didn't. Was that a copy shape option? Since when? Okay, now. Simple. Where's simple? No, not copy. Simple. There you go. Okay, so left click. Ooh, I don't want them jumping up against that. We might just do this, though. So if they run from this side, they're going to be tempted to run up the stairs. And this side as well. I think it's there, right? Or is it back? No, it's there. Okay, I should have... No, wait. It's sticking out. So it is this side. Like so. And then over here, we can make a corner stair. I think we have those pieces, right? Shape. Yes. Corner stairs. Nice. So we do this. Uh, oh, crap. This should have been a corner stair. I'm going to destroy this. At least we don't need a ton of, uh, of, this, of these blocks. So I can't afford to destroy them. It's still a waste to destroy them. I should have done this. See, now they're still running up here, but they're going to go for the corners. Let's just hope they don't stand on the stairs over here and then wail on the corner. That's really going to put a damper on things. This could have technically worked if I went out a little bit more. So if I made two stairs over here, then I could have just put the corner over here and that would have worked out. But since I'm putting this corner over here now, that one didn't work. Okay, so let's just hope this holds, guys. If it doesn't hold, we're screwed. So for now, I can put the rest of these blocks away. Yep, and rebar. I could technically place all the rebar already. On the places that's already upgraded like this, we can just place. Now, just to make sure when I'm upgrading, the first blocks I upgrade are the bottom blocks, obviously. Um, I just hope the zombies don't stack up on each other and then come for me like that. So at the moment, we don't have the iron bars. We're focusing on steel. And then I need to focus on steel again to make more blade traps. I want to make sure that these walls are protected, that there's, there's as little possible chance of the zombies coming for the walls as possible. Um, but the problem is, because I don't have iron bars and stuff up, the spider zombies will be jumping over, so I need to put protection for them. And then also the birds, they're going to get me like crazy. Unfortunately, that's just going to have to be the reality for now. I can't afford to waste my resources on other stuff. If I had a, tra a Kate Caitlyn trade already on the map, I'd quickly go visit her and perhaps get enough resources to do everything I need to do. Um, let's just place the last bit of blocks. I don't want to have that in my inventory cutting it up because it's one slot in the chest that it takes up that other stuff could have gone in. See, now I could be saving these blocks or what I could do is, since I have spare... Just do this. Now, it's going to be weaker than the rest, but at least it's on the inside, so it doesn't matter. And see, it c helps cover more of the ground over here. Oh, that was a mistake. Damn, I walked into this fr frame behind me. And this is definitely too high. Also, I need to make sure that I can place at least three high, um, some plating over here, or half blocks, against this pillar. We don't want the cops during the horde vomiting on it and destroying the pillar. That's just going to put a real damper on things, because then we lose our blades and the zombies are more likely to go for the walls. Okay, so, steel... See, we have a ton of iron, but we don't have steel. The steel I should also put away for now. Uh, wrench I'm going to keep, just in case, although we don't really need it. And then I can put in there. I should really make a chest for stuff like this that I don't really use. I need about 70 more skill notes, or 71, then I can make my own class again. Well, not my own class, another class. I don't know if I want to go for the, uh, the turret one. I think the turret and the bikes are, are mechanical. So they might be the same thing. Let's just quickly check that out. Mechanic. Turret syndrome. Yes. So the mechanic's what we're going for next. We need the turret range, and we need to be able to make ourselves some motorcycles. As soon as we have the motorcycles, guys, it's uh, the episodes are going to be much easier to time for me. I'm not going to make them too long or too short, because I know that drives, I won't have to cut out too long. Okay, and then we are going... Damn, that map still hasn't spawned in yet. We're going this side. Now, I should technically still go check out what that is, but that's if we have time left. I mean, that's technically just POIs outside the town. They're not part of the town. The forger should be good to go because I think I put like 100 minutes worth of wood in there. So, for now, that's going to cook while we are busy. Let's just hope the iron in there doesn't run out because then it's just a waste of fuel. Okay, now the problem with this is the one on the right is a bunker. We're going to have to go down into the mineshaft. 
But then again, we don't have to loot this whole place. If we literally go down into this house over here, we go to the main loot just like that. But obviously, you want to loot the whole place. You want to make sure you get everything from it. Now this, I don't know if there's still zombies spawning in here. There should technically be. But I think we looted this more or less when the horde was here. Remember, we jumped off the school. We came to this place for safety. Ooh. And since we have the auger, we have to get into the habit again of doing this, guys. So it's just easier than having to rely on the forges all the time. Like this, you can get the same amount the forge takes forever to cook. And then, did I loot the ups... I don't think I looted the upstairs. It's empty. No, I didn't. Nice. That's an extra bonus for me. It's just a shame you can't wrench these for welding torches. That would be damn awesome, I think. Okay, I'm getting a ton of ammo at least. But it's not much, but it's still something. Hello, hello. Let's see how this does to the zombies. Bullseye. Ooh, I am leveling up. Hello, hello, hello. So just one more shot and I level up. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, wow. It takes a little bit more XP than I thought. Okay, so this place is already done. That saves a little bit of time. Now, I wonder if I should quickly dig up all the coal over here. Remember the one horde? I remember uh, I, had, I was out of HP, or, or rather out of luck, and also I had to jump up here just to survive the horde. We were living in a rundown uh, POI, and we had to do that. That sucked so bad. Okay, so let's just get our shotgun. Let's hope there's no soldiers in here, guys. I mean, we do have the AP pistol. Yeah, we're going to fall down there. Not on my watch. Where are you going? Okay, it doesn't seem like more spawning, so let's just quickly do this. Hopefully there's not more of this floor that's going to cave in. This is all I can remember that actually caves in. Usually when there's a floor like that, you fall and fall and fall and you're screwed. Okay, so this lady woke up from over here, meaning this should be empty. We're going to have to jump down the shaft over here to get to the rest. Okay, so we jump down there. Please don't fall. Remember some of these vents, when they sit skew, you know there's some loot over there. So it's worth go, uh, breaking them. But only if they're sitting skew. And let's just do this. Fire a shot, see what wakes up. Doesn't seem like there's much down here. Although, I shouldn't be complaining because that's gonna, just going to allow me to get through this place faster. Now, what's in there? That's locked. Doesn't seem like there's anything in there. Might be. Uh, we're going to go around to that side anyway. So let's just run around and see. Now, we need to watch out like, for, like I said, soldiers. And for zombies falling from on top. Reload. At least we do have the armor pissing rounds. And this is a nice mine if you want to get some coal, guys. All these dark patches. That's coal. Watch out. If I hear something fall, I need to turn as fast as possible. Then there's a zombie falling from upstairs. That is destroy generator. It's just a real shame you can't destroy more things to get wilding torches. Just how awesome do you think it would be? If you could wrench something and get a tool you were looking for the whole episode, or the whole series so far. Hello, hello. The way you stood up, you almost looked like a spider just now. Oh crap, hello. Bullseye. Okay, so you almost exploded. I hate the fact that their uh, explosion time is so short now. Like, it's boom, all of a sudden they see you and you shoot once and they want to die. Just That goes to show how much damage you're doing. Okay, so we have to fall down this side. Hello. See, we literally just came around that door. That's all we did. And if I'm not mistaken, we're very close to the end loot. Him moving just now actually made me thought he's still alive. Okay, we need to make sure we are reloaded. All of a sudden, my dating app is blowing up. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, I shouldn't complain. I usually have very bad luck on dating apps. There's no zombies spawning over here. Nice. That's just going to save me a ton of time. Okay, so we're going to get all the resources over here. Oh, that wasn't resources. Then again, guys, remember, if you destroy these piles and there's nothing in there, there's not, no ball, a bag falling, that just means... Oh, that's locked. That means that there's actually um, nothing in that loot. It'll make a bag if there was something. It just gets you scavenging up looting, so it's worth looting. Okay, so should I check if there's anything else underneath this? Might be, might not be. No, it's just these boxes, I think. Imagine if there was a box underneath that you never knew of just because you didn't have, didn't take the time to go through. Oh, I don't have any lockpicks on me, do I? Okay, so we're going to break through this one quickly. Okay, so at least we did have the orga on us, although it was almost completely damaged because we used it during the night. I should really get into the habit of repairing stuff, especially when I'm going to be able, when I'm going to be using them. Okay, so let's loot this. 
This is times eight. Ooh, nice. We can sell most of this stuff. Times eight copy we already have, so we're going to sell that one as well. And we can just exit here. Okay, so let's see if he'll... Oh, come on. I want him to do the last shot. I don't want to get stuck in here with a zombie. Okay, so that was the last building on this block, I think. Oh, we still have that one over there. The junkyard. And remember the junkyards. And they still... <laughs> in the beginning of the game, we needed water, guys. But we had these water to towers all over. I just never noticed them. Or rather, I didn't want to notice them. Okay, so we should be able to jump right over here. There might just be a ton of zombies right here. So we need to be careful as well. Okay, so let's see. We have space to technically use our mini bike, so we don't get encumbered. But at least it's not the end of the world if we are encumbered. So now that I drank that, I can actually eat this. I'm gonna drink this one and this one. I just want to clear my inventory a bit of unnecessary things. We have a ton of drinks at the base already, so I don't mind wasting them like this. Okay, so we're gonna run through this place. Uh, we need to watch out for dogs in this place, especially. I know this place loves dogs. Okay. And it doesn't it probably doesn't matter whether we loot this or not. I should really see where my scavenging is at. I think my scavenging is high enough so I don't have to worry about all these small things. If I don't want to loot it, don't loot it. But if my scavenging isn't all the way up, I'm still going to loot every single thing until it's 100%. Remember, uh, scavenging also affects the quality of the loot. If it's maxed out, you get the best chance for the best loot. Okay, and let's see... These bags are useless. Okay, so the zombies don't come up. That's a nice thing. We don't have a ton of jumping zombies in this game. It's more realistic. Imagine uh, there being a zombie outbreak and every single zombie can jump like three meters high. I think you cry. <laughs> Just the fact that you're not going to be able to survive that. Well, you might be able to if you're lucky, but still. Okay, so where's the zombie? There's one over here, but he's not there anymore. There's one in between. Where's you? Ah, there you are. You were feral. And I think you were feral as well because you were moving a little bit fast. Ah, uh, that's just a wandering zombie. If it was a wandering horde, I'd actually go for it because that'd be more XP. And now I know there's actually a ton of cars out here still wrenchable. There's this place's cars and there's a few as well uh, throughout the town that I just missed. That I just forgot about. It's not the kind of thing that you probably should be forgetting, <laughs> because you need gas. At least we did have a little bit of that, um... Hello, zombie. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, he's still alive. We had, um... Oh! Oil shale. And I made some gas with that, but usually you don't have. Damn, that was close. That just made me... Ooh. Okay, so can I shoot you? Thank you. They're not on top at least, but they're all breaking through on the bottom of the yard. Where did that one come from? He was so damn fast. Like, almost gave me a damn heart attack. Okay, so... Unlock... Oh, this guy's super fast. He's not insanely fast, but because I'm not aiming properly, it feels like they're moving all around. Where are you guys? Oh, are you on over here? It's nice that they actually make sound. In previous alphas, even bears made sounds like that, so you could actually hear where there's a bear in the vicinity. But now... You just have to well, hope there's no bear because they can actually sneak up on you like a ninja. And I mean, a bear wouldn't make no noise when it's charging at you, would it? Okay, so I should technically be picking up all these chairs, but we do still have a ton of wood at the base. So I'm actually, I've actually been using a ton of wood to upgrade my stuff instead of chairs. It's just easier. Less to worry about. Hello. Just want to make sure we get all these zombies. Now, I need to get the safe in here. Don't have lockpicks on me. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this up. And we're going to have this turret here. So this turret is just going to protect us while we make a ton of noise with the auger. Remember, you have to turn your back to use the auger. I don't know if it's the same as vanilla, but you have to auger from the front. Let's just really see. No, okay, this is awesome. In this mod, you have to... You can auger from any side. But in vanilla... Oh, there's a little bit of rubber band because it keeps repairing itself. Um, in vanilla, I found that I'm only able to do this from the front. If I do it from the sides, it doesn't take. And there wasn't a ton of stuff there, that sucked. Okay, so next room. We can either go through here or we can go through upstairs, I think. I think upstairs there's just a wooden door, so it's easier to get... Yep, wood. It's easier to get through. Also guys, we need to find a place that if the, we're not ready for the horde, we can face the zombies. Um, because at the moment that base, 
I mean, it's looking promising. Uh, if we can get that runway to steal, I'm definitely using it. But if we can't, we can't afford to use it because then the zombies are just going to wreck the base before we actually get it ready for a horde. Now, sometimes behind these steps, there's actually some loot. Other times, not. Doesn't seem like this is the case for this one. Hello, zombie. I heard you. Bye-bye. Whoa. Bye-bye. My mouse is a little bit too sensitive, I think, because I barely move. Ooh, this is actually a working workbench. I barely move around, and then it actually moves way too much. Luckily, there hasn't been any dogs yet. Ooh, that's one lockpick, although that's not going to serve me much. Especially since my lockpicks break and break and break and break. It's like super, super rare for my lockpicks to work on the first try. And when it does, I'm just so amazed it does, uh, work that I'm, I'm super happy. And it's just the damn lockpick. What was that? Ooh, scrap armor. Also, guys, I noticed that some of the armor I had on my pieces uh, were just armor plating. And the armor plating gave one armor. The banded armor that I also had some of, um, that I had to spare, I equipped that to the rest of my stuff, um, gives plus two armor. And also, remember we had that steel uh, leg armor last episode that I said I might uh, that might be better? We only had iron leg armor, so that also increased the armor from, I think, 18 to 20, or 30 or whatever. So it's, we're way more protected right now. So it's always a good thing to go compare stuff when you loot them. That was just painkillers, a little bit of lag when I looted. Even, uh, uh, that's what I still don't get. My one rocket launcher, the green one, being better than a blue one. And it's better than all the greens. It's just better than everything that I've looted thus far. And I don't know why. I know that uh, the color doesn't matter, the, uh, the quality doesn't matter. But thus far, I haven't found a single rocket launcher that color or otherwise that actually is better. Okay, so now we have finished this. I just want to check out what is on that side. So we know what we can loot loss uh, for next episode. I almost wanted to say last episode. So we go down this road. This is an army camp. Ooh, army camp. Okay, but I'm not going to test that now. Um, we'll do that next episode. Next episode, we're going to do a little bit of uh, horde base building. We should be almost done with it, and we'll go loot those last few buildings in the town. That way we know we are fully prepared for the horde, and hopefully we get enough secret loot from that army camp um, to actually help us. But then again, we bought most of our ammo, and so most of the stuff we needed we already bought. Now this we still need to upgrade to reinforced. I hope by the time I face the horde, we have enough concrete mix to also do the stairs over here. Even if it's just the sides and the top over here where the rockets and stuff are going to land. That way we don't have to worry too much. And then I'm going to have to make this steel, that steel, and then I'm going to drop these uh, frames. But guys, I've waited so long and done so long. If they drop, I might just spawn them in. Because I'm not going to be able to face the horde if they break. I know it's a little bit of cheating, but it's either that or we don't face the horde here yet again. I know you guys are curious to see whether this works or not. Let's just grab that. Uh, ooh, this already, see, this was out already. That was a waste. Steel, that's 10 more blocks right there. We need more um, iron though. We don't have a ton of iron. So I need, to uh, I need to find a deposit somewhere that can actually help with that. Do this and more cement. So next episode we will have a ton more cement. Oh wow, I actually managed to jump that. Um, let's just hope we actually do because if we have that ton of cement, we can actually finish this. We should be able, with that amount I just put in, to finish the uh, roof over here. And perhaps have enough for left for the stairs. Even if it's just a little, uh, that, just that little bit will help a ton. Okay, so this block over here is going to do the uh, carrying. The back ones actually as well. Not that much, but it's worth it. And then we need to do these. We need to start from here. Remember, each block carries like 15 or so. I need to check that again. Uh, you open the creative menu and you take one block out. And then you see the mass and the weight it can carry. Oh, I didn't upgrade this one. Let's quickly check that out together. So if you go for steel. Uh, where's a steel block? Just a normal steel block. That's the one we have, right? We're just going to take the one because we want to take a peek. Now this says uh, mass 20, horizontal support 300. So this can hold 15 blocks. Okay, just 15, which means this is just, just holding, guys. Um... I might later have to put some of these things underneath, like more quarter blocks to hold them up, 
or upside down quarter blocks on top of these so the zombies run on those. But I don't know if they're going to want to run on those. Because then over there, we're going to have to make half blocks that's as high as these blocks. Because these blocks are as high as half blocks. Um, so the, the underside of block, remember, this is, this is the solid part of the block, and this is the open side of the block, because that's a full block. Now we need to have that solid part on the ground and this open part on top. I just don't know if the, I hope the zombies actually register that as a support. Because if we do that, we can do it from on top of here, put a half block, half block, so the zombies will start to run on top of that, and then have these blocks upside down, uh, cover the, covering these. Because remember, at the moment, I think there's like a block or two to spare. So if we have two high, that's just that many more blocks to spare. And if the zombies fall and they break the top block, the bottom block will still be there, so the zombies will still be using that. That's just something for later on. Hopefully this horde, we won't need it. I'm going to keep my bicycle with me this time. I always forget my bicycle. But this time I'm going to hold it with me just in case we need it. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for this content. See you guys next time for some more fun.